All right, welcome to section six, symbols. What we're going to do is essentially just draw an object and then put it into a way that it's basically used in a library. So what we're going to create is a button. So I'm gonna go into my shape tool. You can also use the shortcut L to go into the ellipsy tool. And I am just going to make a circle and I'm not gonna to worry too much about how big this is right now because you can resize it when it's a symbol or after you're done if you want to have it be a certain size as a symbol um, so i'm not going to worry about the size too much let's zoom in here a little bit though and i have all of the um all the sizes that i ended up using um in the pdf guide so let's see 0.15 And I'm going to make mine small because I'm going to be using it as a button. Let's just change that back to 0.15. All right. So I have my first circle. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to do, um, I'm going to copy in front. So I'm going to do Command C, Command F. And I am just going to... Um, scale this down in size by 80%. And I'm just going to make sure that it's scaling everything because I want to make the interior line a little bit smaller as well. I guess I did 0 0.05 in the guide. So let's just follow that. And so that's the ridge on the outside of the button. You can look at any sort of symbol that you're trying to, um, you know, copy or create like a, a zipper pull or something. You can take a look at it. You can even take a picture of it and draw around it um, if that's easier for you. Sometimes that is easier. And then what we're going to do is we're going to make a few smaller circles. So I'm just using my shortcut L and holding down shift. And instead of making it um, a black line, I'm going to have it be a black fill for the buttonholes. And I'm going to option drag shift, let go, and then I'm going to select both and do option drag shift. And I'm going to select all of these um, and I'm going to group them so that I don't have to keep if I want to select all of them, I don't have to, you know, keep unselecting these. And then I'm just going to double click into this group. I'm going to spread these out a little bit further. So. And those are all lined up. And now you can see that this is slightly um, to the bottom right. What I want to do is make sure all of these are um, lined up. So I'm going to use these tools up here at the top. These are the align tools. And because those four buttonholes that I created are grouped, it's going to think of it as one object. So those things won't move around. So I just centered it vertically and horizontally. And now it's all symmetrical. So now we're going to go into our symbols. And mine are right here. If you're not seeing them, you can go up into your window and click on symbols to pull that window up. And what you can do, and you can do the same thing with um, patterns, you can do the same thing with um, brushes, you can do the same thing with symbols. You can just select it and drag it over um, as a shortcut. But what I like to do, just so I make sure that I choose all of the um, options that I want, I'm going to choose, or I'm going to select my whole object, um, all the pieces, and then again, just like we did with brushes, it's this little page with like the leafed corner. We're going to choose that. That's the new symbol tool. You can name it here. So if you're creating a bunch of different zippers, um, maybe for different brands or something like that, and you want to make sure that they're organized and um, you know which one's which, you can name it. And when you hover up over it, it will say what the name is. And we're going to change it from a movie clip to a graphic. And, and choose static symbol instead of dynamic symbol. And then we're going to hit OK. So now you can see 
that I have a bounding box all the way around this entire button. And what that means is that it is a symbol. If you want to edit your symbol or change something about it, you can go up into edit symbol. You can see your symbol has been added um, to your window over here, just like we did with the brushes. You can hit edit symbol and note that if you do decide to do this, that you're going to change all instances of it within your document. So if you have a bunch of jackets in one document and they all have these buttons on them and you only want to change one of the buttons, note that you will have to break the link. So instead of doing that, I would break the link. And what that is going to do is return it back to just being a regular object like it was before. All right, so let's um, re um, create a symbol out of this one, or I'll just um, command Z to undo what I did. And let's talk about creating a symbol library. So just like we did in the last section with the brushes, it's going to be this menu in the top right corner. And again, if you have anything in here that you don't want as a part of this library, be sure to delete it using the little trash can at the bottom. So what we're going to do is we're going to go up to the, the top menu, just like we did in the last section, and we're going to go down to Save Symbol Library. And I don't have a test library saved, so let's just in test library. And I'm going to hit Save. And then when I pull this down, you're under user defined again, you're going to see the test library. And then that same library you can pull up um, and you can do this from any Illustrator document. That's why it is so great to have it um, because you don't have to just have a document that you go to and copy and paste and copy and paste and copy and paste. This is a really great method, especially if you're working across a bunch of different brands and you have to um, add logos to all of them or back neck labels to all of them, or you know, you have some repeating identifiers throughout the sketches that you're creating, because all you have to do to use the symbol now is just pull it out of here. And there it is. And again, you can just go up and edit it or break the link if you if you need to. Um, and you can resize all of these things as well. So these are pretty small, but I can take it and resize it. And if I resize it from, um, you know, as a symbol, it's not going to resize all of the symbols within my document. 